Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, we're going to have a look at connected and local routes in the lab. The topology just has one router, R1, and it's got three interfaces that have not been configured yet. I'm going to put IP address 10.0.0.1 24 on fast 0 slash 0. 10.0.1.1 24 is going to go on fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 and 10.0.2.1 24 is going to go on fast 2 slash 0. I also have a couple of PCs that I'm going to use to test connectivity across the router. I've got PC1 at 10.0.1.10 and PC2 at 10.0.2.10. So let's get everything configured. So I'll go on PC1 first. This is my PC emulator in GNS3. So to check the config, it's show IP. And I can see it's already been configured with IP address 10.0.1.10 slash 24 and the default gateway of 10.0.1.1 and on PC2, it's already pre-configured IP address 10.0.2.10 and the default gateway 10.0.2.1. But if I go on my router R1 and I'll do a show IP interface brief on here and I can see the interfaces are not configured and they're still shut down. So let's configure our IP addresses on the router. Actually, just before I do that, I'll do a show IP route first to show you that the routing table is empty right now because I don't have any IP addresses configured anywhere on the router. Obviously, it's not going to be capable of doing any routing. So I need to configure those. So I'll go to global configuration interface fast 0 slash 0 and give it IP address 10.0.0.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and remember to no shut the interface then interface fast 1 slash 0 is going to be IP address 10.0.1.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and no shut and finally interface fast 2 slash o is ip address 10.0.2.1255.255.255.0 and a no shut and if i have a look on my routing table now i'll do a show ip route i should have my connected and my local routes added to the route table now so because I configured those IP addresses, it knows that 10.0.0.0 slash 24 is connected and it's out interface fast 0 slash 0. 10.0.1.0 slash 24 is connected on fast 1 slash 0 and 10.0.2.0 slash 24 is on fast 2 slash 0. I can also check and see what IP addresses are configured on the interfaces as well from my local routes. 10.0.0.1 is on interface fast 0 slash 0. It shows it as a slash 32 here, but I can also see what the subnet is as well just by looking at the corresponding connected route. And 10.0.1.1 is on fast 1.0 and 10.0.2.1 is on fast 2 slash 0. Okay, so I've got my routing table built now and the router should be able to route traffic between its directly connected interfaces. It should have reachability to the PCs as well. So if I do a ping 10.0.1.10 for PC1, this ping will hopefully be successful. Yeah, it's good. And I can also ping PC2 at 10.0.2.10. Sometimes it will miss the first ping as it's doing the ARP like you see there. So that looks all good. Let's also check connectivity between the PCs as well. So I'll go on PC1 and I'll 
ping the default gateway first, which was at 10.0.1.1. I know for sure that this is going to work. It would be really weird if the router could ping the PC, but the PC couldn't ping the router because a ping confirms two-way connectivity. The way that ping works is it sends an echo request to the destination address, and then the destination address will send a echo reply back again. We'll talk a bit more about the details of how ping works when we do the troubleshooting section later. Okay, so I've got connectivity between my PC and the default gateway. Let's check for connectivity between PC1 and PC2. So I'll ping 10.0.2.10 and this should be good too. Yeah, okay, so I've got connectivity there. If I go to PC2, then really I know for sure that if I ping 10.0.1.10, that's going to work as well. Okay, so that is connectivity set up between the directly connected interfaces. If I wanted to verify the path that the traffic is taking, then I could do a trace route from the PC. Let's just check the command syntax on my virtual PC here on GNS3. Okay, so it's trace on here. So I will trace the path to 10.0.2.10 and this verifies that it's going through just a single hop, which is my default gateway at 10.0.1.1, and it then routes it to 10.0.2.10. Okay, so that was connected and local routes. I'll see you in the next lecture where we'll move on to static routes. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.